Hello, and the girls and the Frenchels. It's stalled. Welcome back to my kitchen. On this menu, we will get new Pokemon cards coming to the game in November. Dude, that's man, that's end of the year. Why are we talking about this now? This is actually coming out in Japan in July 5th. Yeah, and we get to see all the new stuff they're getting that we'll get later. Uh, so you probably don't live in Japan. I know I'm a psychic, right? But you know, we like looking at new cards, their new abilities, new combos that you can do, and what to expect when the game changes up. So, all right, let's jump into it. Here we go. This is called Remix Bound Japan, and the first card is Venusaur and Stevie GX. Not Venusaur and Celebi GX, because, you know, they broke up, Celebi left, and now you got the downgrade with Stevie. Just kidding. Moving on. 2-6. 270 HP. Big tag team level. Awesome. Moving on. Ability Shining Vine. When it's up front and fighting. Mm -hmm. Not sitting on the bench. When you put a grass energy on it, which, you know, you're charging it up, you get to be a jerk. You get to pick out their weakest Pokemons off the bench, bring it up front, and uh, attack it. Yeah, so now either they have to retreat if it's still alive, or you get to blow it up with 160 damage. And hey, two prize cards off Dendena GX, or just a victim off the bat. Ah, I'm liking you already. So, energy cost, four energies were 160. That's worse than God of War Tag Team GX. That's worse than Machamp GX. But given this free ability, I guess I can see why that's there. But the damage is workable, and the energy bonus, ah, you only need one grass. And you can just go with Charizard to steal off their fire energy acceleration, but we'll worry about that at another time. Still, it is a 4 energy cost for 160. Damage is okay, energy cost a little bit high. Alright, so, uh, the GX move. Ooh, you get to do the cheap version for 3 energies. 50 damage to all their Benjamin Pokemon, which... 60 HP tends to be the floor for um, weak basic Pokemon, so you're not going to be able to get KOs off that. However... When you're following up with Force Dump, it is 210 damage, and it does get Stage 1 GX knocked up. Not only that, if you have two extra energies, you heal off all Pokemons on your side of the field. So we're going to get something wheezing. Woo! That will do some big, 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 big deals. So, all right, you heal yourself up. 50 damage to everything. It's pretty good GX. Yeah, that bench damage. Man, if you could throw it in like with the uh, Ultra Necrozma or something. Doesn't match energy cost, but overall, everything, the bench aspect of uh, this Venusaur Stiffy, you'd be good if Charizard GX wasn't just the biggest deal around. You'd be pretty fun to use. I think you'll be okay, so, uh, yep, we're gonna move on from that. Charizard just makes everything look bad. Charizard and Zapdos, but that, that's how it is. I still love you, Venusaur. Moving on, moving on, tank growth. No, there, you get your good cards, then you got your cards that you should recycle. This is just one of them. You should recycle it because it doesn't knock out Zapdos in one shot. Its average damage starts off at 80 and you just need a lot more than 80 to get by. So, there are just cards like these. We're gonna quickly move on. Tangrowth, recycle this card. Heracross. All right. So, three of any energies. If your opponent has any tag team anywhere, if it sees a tag team Pokemon, it's gonna go, I hate tag teams. I'm gonna do more damage for you. Three energies for 120. Kind of expensive, it depends what you're doing. You know, well, it doesn't have to be in a grass deck. You can pull it off uh, in a fire deck. Great! Fire hair across, but you know, the biggest, bad thing is Charizard, not Blastoise. So, the thing is, if, you know, a water GX or something weak to grass became good as a tag team, we might see this, but for now, you just the wrong element. You should have been a water Pokemon, man. Then we could be, mm, be a little bit more interested. Anyways, uh, we'll keep it in the back until that happens. Tropius, your recycle material. You need to be doing a lot more than 50 damage, buddy. And that's your last attack. So we are going to move on from Tropius. Every Tropius is bad. Why do they hate you so much, man? All right, moving on. You got uh, Saul's Buck. What does this do? You may draw a card if you have a Saul's Buck involved in your bench. One card. Not two cards. Just one. We have a... Pidgey Odo right now that's cheap, that combos easily with your trainers, and you get two cards instead. Well, you get to choose from two cards, so there's no real point doing this. Damage? Ah, sorry, you can replace my Pidgey Odo, dude. Yep, so moving on. You should recycle this card, and that, that, that's that. 
Charizard and Brazen GX. Strange that the others are snippy. This is, uh, you know, stage one. And uh, like is you lost your rush here, but let's take a look. Another Charizard card. 270 HP, equal to that Venusaur. Shining Flare. 180 damage, better than the Venusaur, and you get to search for any three cards you want, put it into your hand. You know, I wish there was just a support that does that. Because this is much better than that. So, any three cards opens up a lot of ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous combos. You can set up any stage two you want, rare candy that up. You can do a hat lady trick. You can do a lot with any three cards. You will not break. So by this time you set up, this just opens basically any combo that exists in the game will happen once you have this Charizard up. As long as you have four energies on this, things are gonna happen next turn. So, if, yeah, this this is awesome. If uh, you did a little bit more damage, you'd be pretty broken. But 180 for this effect? This effect is ridiculous. I'm gonna move on from there, but it, we'll just see what we'll, what we'll do when this thing comes out. Next up, you have your GX attack, which if you have one energy, you can get five basic energies put into your Pokemon any way you like. Okay, uh, that's an energy booster. Two energies, you will burn a confused opponent. All right, that buys you time, and they'll probably easily charge up your attacks or your next Pokemon's attacks. So, eh, it's, it's okay. The big deal is your main attack here. That main attack is going to make things happen. So, Charizard or Braze GX, you are very, very awesome. You look as good as that Venusaur. Just... Bad meta for that Venusaur, but you're awesome, Charizard. Always, 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 always. Another good Charizard. Moving on, Rapidash! And you should recycle this. This doesn't do anything in Zapdos. Zapdos just makes a lot of cards look bad. Entei, here we go! Alright, so! 130 HP, legendary for two energies if a Pokemon was knocked out last turn. One of your Pokemons. You get to come back and do 120 damage, which is half of both GX's life. Choice ban that, and it does one shot Zapdos. So you're usable, not special, but usable. And I don't think you would go for your that last attack there, not Zapdos friendly. So you could put Squeeze into a, and you know use this Rally Back attack. So use. We're just gonna move on from there. Victini, what do you do? This thing heals off twenty bench, twenty damage off one of your bench Pokemon. I think these abilities, these healing abilities, need to scale up a little bit more because that's kind of low for things that have 270 HP. So I think this is almost recycled material. Almost, almost, almost recycled. So sorry, Victini. You, you need a little bit more numbers. All right, next up, we're going to skip those two evolutions. We're going to go for Embor. What do you do? Ooh, I like your stats already. But this ability, here we go, Steam Dance. When you evolve this, meaning you can only do it Mostly once, unless you have some de-evolutions. You get to look at the top eight cards, all those basic energy stairs, use them, stick them straight onto your Pokemon. So, you do have some nice utility! Yeah, but these days, you have, you know, Welder, and I think there's just better ways to charge up Fire Pokemons, but it's not bad. If you were in a theme shop, ooh, that would be nice. So, Embor, I mean, just these days, they're just really good Fire Energy bonus. But you're not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll leave it be there. Something might just open up for you. Moving on. Blastoise and Piplup. I think this is the only, you know, star that didn't get a legendary partner. We got Charizard and Shiyu. We got Selby Venusaur. Blastoise just didn't get one. So here's this is a deal. I'm sorry, Blastoise. I don't know what, what happened to you. Blastoise and Piplup. Here we go. Three energies, 150. Better than that Venusaur's, you know, 160 for four. You get to attach three energies, water energies, from your hand. Not from your deck, unlike Zekra, but from your hand. You gotta have them there. That makes it a little tricky. And put them any way you like. Energy bonus? Three energies? Oh, yes, and you also heal 50. Ah, so you can just overload yourself, heal up a lot of your damage. That's looking so far like a good combo. Energy bonus and damage and healing? All right. Tell me what would you got? Bubble Launcher GX, 100 damage, and your opponent's now paralyzed. And that's for the 
That is the best status condition. They can't move next turn unless they got something to combo that or counter that. And if you have three extra energies, which, where could you possibly get that from? Hmm, okay, so, uh, then you get to do 150 more damage. So instead of paralyzing, it kills the other Pokemon. And you just happen to be the element that beats Charizard. So, I do see this being useful. Yes, energy bonus, healing, everything added together. There's value in this card. It numbers, it healings, and it, it's everything. So, this thing, man, you don't really need much to work with this. You just get three energies on this, and it seems to take care of itself. So things like, let's see, Rabombi, Lady, just getting energies in your hand is basically what you need here. And water Pokemons, they do have a lot of energy bonuses like Aqua Patch, Quagsire. This should be easy to pull off. Last always go kick those Charizard's butts. Uh, moving on, here we go, Psyduck and Golduck. Golduck's 80 is not enough to take out Zappos. So, uh, it is very cheap though, two energy costs, but it just needs a little bit more. So I think this will go into the recycle pile. Moving on! Sorry, Wild wow, Lord! That is... Okay, let's take a look at his HP. 200 HP, that is stage 1 GX level. You practically are GX Pokemon without the GX to it. One prize! Awesome! Big energy cost, ouch! But man, you one shot at Charizard! You one shot at Zapdos! You just, energy cost just costs a lot though, but if you're surviving two turns, then we can actually work for this. You're usable, you're a lot better than Golduck than the other cards, so, but not that special, so, not gonna excited for this, but at least I, I, I think we can pull this guy off. Alright, Wild Lord, let's move on, Kyogre, 130 HP, 130 damage, ow, oh, that energy cost, ow, oh, what's it do, discard, ah, uh ah, -huh. recycle, recycle, ah, oh, darn it, um, moving on, Fion, alright, Fion, what do you do, ability, when this Pokemon's on your bench? You can do an escape rope thing where you make your opponent switch. They choose what's best for themselves. <sighs> then you get to destroy this, throw it off your bench, and it goes at the bottom of your deck. Why would I do this for, you know, use this over an escape rope? So this ability, I'll keep it in the back of my mind. It may open up some combo later, but for now, yeah, I don't see why we should use escape rope over this. Later, later, we, something might open up. So, Fion, we'll keep an eye on you. Duskull! Ability, and a good one. Here we go! When you, uh... This ability is when, if you choose to discard three cards off your hand... Ouch! Three! Three, that's gonna hurt. You can evolve it immediately. First turn, any turn, whatever, and it becomes a Duskloss. Woo! So the thing is... Fast evolution, just throwing this down, following up with the lily something. Oh man, you! This is good. This is a very, very good ability to get quickly get your dust go out, and it does combo with supporters such as Lily, Banana Master, who's leaving. But there is a big hope in the expanded for this because past dust noirs are very interesting cards and in expanded. So we'll see. We'll definitely go and expand it. Maybe not using this one, but uh, Dust Skull. I mean, I'm already moving on from you. We'll have hopes for you. Now, Dust Storm, the most current one. Here we go. Fainting Stamp, your ability. When it's knocked out, you do four damage. <sighs> but if you come up with a, let's say, Spell Attack, that's 80 damage. Ooh, anywhere I want? That's nice. So, looking good. 160 HP. That's. A low GX level, that's okay. And one energy attack. Yes! 60 damage! Hmm. But next turn it does 120. So over two hits, it does 180. Add the choice span up. And given how fast you can get to sell, I'd say you're at least useful. Yeah! Especially when you can get the. They're all evolving real quickly. As long as you have cards in your hand, it's looking good. It's looking usable. So, mm, you're getting one shot by Charizard, but useful, useful. So, Dust Noir, I'll be looking out for you. Moving on, Rotom! Let's see what you do. You just guard one card from your hand, then draw two cards. Or you can get energies. Attach two basic energies from your discard to your bench Pokemon. Now, cards like these that you have to give them a prize card to get energies on, they're just not so great. We hardly ever use them, that is recycling. 
All right, Shrevnet, the wannabe Giratina. Let's see if you remember what Giratina does. Less HP than Giratina. Less damage than Giratina. Not that cool ability. You gotta evolve it. And you pretty much have the same attack with weaker. You have a double close energy combo, but that's leaving, so... You're downgraded to Giratina. As long as Giratina's around, which it still should be. Trevenant. Ah, ah, man. Ah, he, he, he got shafted. So, moving on. Delmize! Less than Giratina's damage. Not enough to get a zap those. I think that's all we need to talk about. Let's move on from Delmize. Marshadow! 60 HP. You get to copy any attack you want from your opponent. Cannot be a GX, unfortunately. But, if you copy something like Charizard's attack for 230, you're the choice ban. May have a certain stadium that hurts the Charizard. Okay, you can one-shot a Charizard GX, and that's something that's popular. I can see myself putting one of these in one of my decks, so more shadow, come on, on board! This is this is decent. Next up, Blacephalon! Alright, so Blacephalon, these it's an ultra beast. They tend to do something at certain prize card points. So, at the three prize card points, if your opponent has three prize cards remaining. So they took out like one of your tag team GXs. You get to do 12 damage, but you can put those damage counters anywhere you want. Bench damage up to the front, whichever hurts the most, and 12 is a lot over its normal form. 12? Man, Ultra Necronza can follow up hard with that with its GX attack. So I would put this in a good deck that's good right now. Ultra Necronza GX. So I think that should be Stangs. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, so Ultra to Crosma, you found a new Ultra Beast partner, buddy. Awesome. So, moving on, Groudon. Ooh, okay, so a little bit better than Kyogre. So, 130 HP, damage is 130, and it can't use its attack next turn. This is a work amount of damage. The energy cost for it is a little... It'd be decent if it wasn't fighting, because fighting just have no energy bonus. And it does charge itself up, but you can't... The momentum is you just can't use this and your attack. It's just too slow. The theme deck format, that's actually decent, but here in the meta, in the standard, it probably couldn't keep up. But if it just had some energy bonus, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to use this. All right, so, throw. Welcome back, my Karate Man. 120 HP, a much better energy cost. And if you have any damage on your bench Pokemon, Spirit Tomb. Easy. And you get to do 120 damage with two energies. Or if it's a counter energy, easy. And you can boost it up with the antsy. Now this energy cost is much better and the requirement is ultra dirt easy. Easy, easy, easy. So I think we could make you work as an efficient bunch attacker. You have you meet the energy requirements, your damage is great, the antsy is still there, throw. We can do something with you, buddy. Alright, moving on! Uh Pangoro! Man, is this your, like, 4th or 10th print? It's, uh, it's good to see you again, though. Three energies, any requirements you want, and the damage is kind of low, side 90. And right now, I guess Zoroark is popular, so... Yeah, but if it's it really, really popular, this would be interesting because you can just squeeze in any deck you want and just one-shot those uh, Zoroarks with a choice man. I guess that's what you're meant to do, but Charizard's the big deal right now, so... Uh, we'll keep you in mind. Maybe Dark will come good again. Alright, so, Crabobble! Woo! This, this does have nice numbers. Let's take a look. It, I think it has 140 HP. There's a little mistake here, but 140 HP and its ability kind of gives you 30 more. 170 HP for stage 1? Yeah! Charizard's like, I don't care, but moving on. Let's take a look. 80 damage, and if you got a water energy right there, or just a rainbow anywhere, 160 damage. The numbers are definitely there for this thing. It's like a mini GX Pokemon, but it's hard to keep using this as a main fighter just because that energy cost is so high and it's fighting. Ah, so, yeah, like, you want energy cheaper, maybe I could counter energy you up. Its energy cost makes it hard to fight off, so you might have to squeeze him a champ in there, but, man, with the right stadium, the right stats, you can one-shot a GX with us. Ah, uh, so we'll see. Something may open up for you. I'll keep you with mine, but you might be an okay budget card. Moving on, moving on. We got a little Meow. Why are you talking about this card? Because past a little Meows have a nice free attack. 
Crazy Psycho Cat, mm, one shot stuff on his first turn. This thing, uh, you won't be using this cat. You'll be using something else. But it now has a GX form. Oh, yes. So let's take a look. 200 HP. All right, that's Hodgecrow level. We can forgive him for that. Smug face. You are completely immune to everything from an opponent's tag team Pokemon if they're using a special energy. Charles RGX does not use special energies. Most decks do not use special energies, uh, tag teams in their in their state. So, mm, if it just appeared today, it wouldn't be that useful. But you know, it may change. We'll see. Keep it in mind. Moving on. It's call slash 120 damage. Two shot KO. Nothing special there. DC is gone now. Uh, anyways, your GX stack does 120 to warm your opponent's Pokemon, meaning you can use this as a bench type. All right. So your numbers. Like kind of low. They don't really fit anywhere in this meta. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I just, I wish you were a little bit better, but your numbers are good enough to do something, right? Does it really open anything up. I think this is your main seller here, but there's just nothing to combo this with. But it may change because there are new good special energy cards coming, and that may, that may help it out. But for now, if you were here today, you wouldn't be that useful, unfortunately. Moving on, Alolan Muck. Hey, you can one-hit Zapdos. Oh man, that's expensive. I think we're gonna have to recycle you. We'll recycle you, not put you there, but uh, maybe we're recycling it. Mm, moving on, Absol. 70 damage, and yet this got a card. Yeah, can you take on Zapdos? Nope, that's why we're gonna recycle you as well. Man, your art looks nice though. All right, and Bishard, 80 damage. You need more damage! You can handle exact those dudes! You can't attack next turn. They need some more stats. Moving on, Guzzlord. 150 HP for a basic. That's one of the best. Here we go. We're gonna uh, we're not gonna care about this weak mill here. We're gonna look at a red Viking. 120 damage, 4 energy cost. But the effect is if you get a KO, you get one extra prize card. Any effect, any mechanic that gives you an extra prize card is big. Energy cost, luckily, this is an Ultra Beast. We have ways to, uh, we have, they get, Dark's got some energy bonus now coming through a Weevil GX. And then you also have Nanu too, which, hmm, yeah, you can quickly switch into this, take an extra prize card, only trade a one prize. I will definitely find a way to use you. Now, because of his energy cost, you can't fight with this, you know, 100%. It just costs too much to keep this thing going. So I think it's more of a, you know, sneak attack. Try to steal that one extra prize card, win the game quickly. Guzzlord, you do have uses. I like you, buddy. All right, moving on. Zangoose, let's see. There's 10 more for every damage counters in your opponent. Oh, come on. So it's a damage doubler. It's basic, and oh man, DC is left leaving the format. You know, it would would be a bad finisher. Yeah, you're a two shot deck. You, know, you, you don't have another Pokemon ready. Evolve. Yeah, we I see uses for you. We can use you. We can use you as a finisher, man. So Zangoose. All right, we need more guys like you, buddy. And I think this is our last Pokemon here. Stuff. So that's what you evolve for. Beware. You are a budget civil IGX. 120 HP. Your active Pokemon has two less retreat costs, which means it doesn't combo against with every Pokemon, just some of them. And hey, free retreat like, against some Pokemon. We might be able to use that. And with the three energy attack, 120 damage, flip a coin of tails, it does nothing. At least I could triple energy bonus you, but you're definitely not gonna be trying to attack with this. Good use Victini, more like a backup attacker, but we're using you probably for just your ability. Now I don't see a big combo with that shush yet, but it may open up. We have Dodrio right now, so this is a little bit better, but I just don't see the combo with yet. It just may open up in the future. All right, so now the trainers, most reprints, but we may see something new here, which we have, ah, great catcher. Now nope, Guzma's leaving, so this is, Probably the replacement until the next expand so and shield hits. Whoever the villain is. So, discard two cards, bring out a bench GX Pokemon from their bench. 
So, mmm, big two prize cards, value, Vendetta GX. That's one of four, but you can't bring up everything. Anything, so that's... It's an okay replacement for Guzma. Guzma gets you, gets everything. But this does have enough value where you can hunt off your opponent's GX. If they're not using a GX deck, well... Ah, that's only a month, right? No, I think we're gonna be without any, any switches for, for quite a while. It's two months. Alright, so it's gonna be nice temporarily, but not as good replacement for Guzma. It is the item, you do have to discard two like an Ultra Ball, and it just may not work against something like a Zapdos. So, there's use for it, but it has the backfire condition where... Alright, but we're gonna move on from that. Most of these are reprints, Professor Oak setting. Here we go! You can search your deck for three basic Pokemon of any type. Fire, grass. They have to be different type. So that's a little bit tricky, but you could get things like the cargo abilities, and I think, you know, it would fit. Even though you can't pick all grass, all fire. Something like Lost March wouldn't help, but maybe something like Charizard where. And you might want something, just a nice ability, basic on the field. Alright, so, it does work with certain different decks. Yeah, certain decks. There's gonna be use for you uh, over Birch. And all that, yeah, is it called Birch? No, it's Professor Elm. Professor Elm only gets you 60 HP Pokemon. This gets you any basic Pokemon, even GXs. So, there's gonna be a lot of nice niche in this. Especially with Nest Ball leaving. I can see you being used, Professor Oak setting. Alright, so, we'll see how we can squeeze that in. Roller Skater. Let's jump into it. You discard one card from your hand, you get two cards. That shouldn't be a supporter, but if you discard energy, you get four cards! Which is better than how, and better than, uh, let's say, um, who's that? Sophocles, but it has to be an energy, and if, you know, your deck doesn't combo off that, uh, Psychic Next with Battle Boys might see a use for it, but they have Viridian for us. I still don't see a, a hole for this, so Roller Skater, there are better things right now, like Sightseer, I don't think this will be used that much. No! Weak Guard Energy! If you play this energy, it counts as one colorless energy, and your Pokemon has no weakness. Oh yes, something to fight against the weak the double damage weakness deal, and it's not a weakness policy. Weakness policy is what we have right now, and it's terrible, because it's either useless, dead weight in your deck, but this, this can at least pay for some of your energy costs, and it's not gonna be dead weight. It's at least usable as an energy card, so yes! I would put, you know, one of this in my deck, every deck. Something that's good, something better than weakness policy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Moving on, draw energy. Same thing, but you get to draw one card. Now, this is something that I could see. Most Pokemon, you know, they also have, they have an energy cost where uh, it's colorless. We don't have to go back on you know. And you can just squeeze an extra card out, which could be useful. Now, I don't see too much of this being used, but maybe one or two sprinkle in your deck. Yes, one extra card, pays three Pokemon, no penalties. I'll use it. All right, so the rest. Acrobatic Skateboard Lady, Welder, we've seen this before, and that is the new expansion set coming out. And for us, November, and for Japan, next week. A lot of nice cards. A lot of not-so-nice cards. That's how it is. Overall, I'm really looking forward to that Charizard, that Blastoise Venusaur, ah, and, um, yeah. So, that is it for now. Thank you, all the girls, for friendships. Take it easy, stay safe. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.